Hi, this is Sandra with Sandra Turno Art. Um, fixing to do a little DIY project, and I thought I'd share it with you, and we'll go along this journey and see if it's going to work. I have no idea. Um, we recently, this week, last week, purchased a new iPhone, and I ordered some silicone cases for my husband and I, and... I don't like them. They, I just don't like them. They stay dirty all the time. Um, they're boring. My iPhone is red, but it's kind of a moot point when you've got this silicone cover on it. So I thought I would paint it and experiment. All it's going to cost me is a little bit for a silicone case and see if it works. So I'm just taking some rubbing alcohol with a lint free, as much as I can, rag and cleaning this off. I'll get some gloves on real quick. Um, I'm going to put two coats of gesso on it because I know the acrylic paint won't adhere to the silicone. And then I'm going to use some acrylic paint to paint something on it. So I'm using Liquitex acrylic gesso. And this is actually let me see what they call this. I like it. It's a lot of different sheets. It's palette paper. By Strathmore 300 series. There's 40 sheets in here. So at some point I was probably um, putting some acrylic on the side of my 8x10 frames, it looks like, because that's some colors I used. And you can put your acrylics on here and use it as a palette. And when you're done, you can just throw it away. And I'm just using an old brush I've got here. It's a flat brush. And I'm going to put gesso on here. Now, there are holes in this case, of course, for the camera and the plug-ins. And I'm going to cover it all up. A real thick coat. So after I paint it, what my intention is, um, when I finish the actual painting, what my intention is, is to put a good couple of coats of Liquitex satin varnish. I'm not going to paint the inside. I would just paint the outside, but I want to make sure all the um, spots are covered. So this foam case actually has some ribs, ribbing on the edges which is fine. So as you can tell, when this goes across, it's thick enough that it's not flowing inside. And if you're seeing this video, obviously it worked. 
worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, you won't see this video. So we shall see. I just don't like boring. And on my other iPhone, I had a 8 Plus. I use the okay, um, loopy cases, which are great. But I just wanted something different. Okay, how am I going? I know what I can do. Hang on. Have a little plastic cup here and it's not painted on that side I'm thinking probably a couple of hours to dry what I'll probably do is put the second coat on not on camera and then come back when I'm ready to paint on the actual phone case So I have put two coats of the acrylic uh, gesso on here, let it dry. And then I put a coat of turquoise blue. And <clears throat> the gesso I left overnight, it would have probably been dry in an hour uh, with the two coats. The turquoise blue I put on this morning just for a coat to kind of give it some grit took about 20 minutes to dry and now I'm going to work on some sky with some uh, deco art ultramarine blue and some Amsterdam acrylic sky blue light and a little bit of white and do some um, sky colors Now, when I did this, I wanted to make sure that um, all the sides were good. So what I actually ended up doing was um, painting the sides and the back end on the lip and letting it dry and then going back and painting the uh, top part here because you can't hold it and make it work so i'm just going to kind of blend this in give me some kind of sky and with the gesso and the um first grit coat of um, that turquoise blue it feels a lot better than it did it's smooth I guess it'd be like painting on hot press paper and I just want to give it a good coat and I'm just trying so also let me mention here you kind of see some painterly marks um, what I call painterly marks brush strokes and a lot of that has to do with the uh, texture of the foam case so it takes a little bit of getting used to on the texture it's just it's just experimenting is all it's doing So I kind of started with the purpley blue sky and my game plan is to try to keep it on the edges like it is on the other side.
And with this, I um, actually wanted to do a uh, flower motif. And I was going to freehand it. And I thought, well, what if I mess it up? I could paint over it. But I think what I'm going to do is um, use my stencils. And don't forget to paint this lip here because this is actually what shows on the front of the phone. And I'm not putting a really thick coat, just a good steady coat, I guess you could say. So I'm going to bring this down just a little bit more. And I'm using a little bit of water, not a lot, just to help it smooth out. Still want it blended. So see right here where it's kind of rough? Just to add a little bit of water, a little more paint on it because when this when acrylic dries it is a plastic so it's going to be really thick and durable I hope <laughs> giving some suggestions of some clouds I'm just using my flat brush. If it starts getting a little sticky, just dip a little bit of water in it because I didn't add any water to this. So you can add a little bit of water just to help it smooth a little bit easier. The hardest part is trying to hold it to paint it. So like I said, I'm going to use some stencils with mine um, instead of trying to freehand on this um, surface, but you could freehand it. I just wanted something bright and cheerful. There. So I'm going to let that dry probably about 30 minutes. And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to paint the sides. I'm not going to video that part just because it's the same thing. But I just can't do it because I can't hold it. And then we'll start the last part. See you soon. So this is dry now, and I'm going to use some stenciling here on some of this. I'm going to do some grasses. Now on the stenciling part, I would recommend not using 
water. It'll make it too runny. So what I'm trying to do is work around this edge. And I was going to tell you, I found a good way to hold the bottle while it's drying as I took a water bottle, or hold the phone case. I took a water bottle and put the camera hole over the lid of the bottle and it held it up just perfect while it was drying. So let's see if I can get this up. There we go. Just be sure and, and dry your stencils off quickly. Let's see if I can do this. So there's a, some grass. And we could put a little bit of yellow in there if you wanted to. I'm going to leave mine as green. Um, while that's wet, I think I'm going to turn it around. This way. In some flowers. And like I said, keep your paint pretty thick for this part. And you don't have to use the whole stencil. Just use the parts you want. And then I'm going to rinse that off and put in some green. And I'm going to put a little bit of this red in some of these. Maybe make a little orange. Just be sure and wipe the um, water off when you rinse it. At this stage, you don't want to add much water. There you go. And you can touch this up. It's limitless on 
what all you can do. And as you can see, I started off with the template, and then you can add to it or leave it as it is. I was going to say, probably should have a uh, pointer, pointy -er tip brush, but I don't have it with me. I'm just kind of smooshing the white in here in these flowers. So all these colors are just kind of melding together. I want to bring this branch. down and be pretty with some um, metallics actually I have some violet metallics already mixed up I may let that dry and add a little bit on top there Okay, I'm going to pause this and dry this, and I'll be right back. So I thought I was videoing, and of course I just hit photo instead of moving it over to video, but um, here's the end result. Um, what I ended up doing, I'll just tell you, um, I strengthened the branches, put a few leaves. I put some metallic purple I had mixed up from doing a pour, and... When I do flowers, they always start getting bigger and bigger, but it's okay. It fits the phone case perfectly. And then I let all that dry, use the heat gun, and then I took my stencils and I did two butterflies, and then I took my Fosca pens and just did some little embellishments around the butterflies, and then I took the gold, I don't even know if you can see it, um, I took the gold and just went very lightly one dot around the camera holder. So I love it. I love how it turned out. I'm really happy with it. Um, what I'm going to do is let it dry for about 24 hours. It's not real thick, um, but I'm going to let it dry for about 24 hours. And then I'm going to put two coats of Liquitex acrylic gloss varnish on it and let that dry and I'll show you the end results. Thank you so much. Good morning. This is Sandra again. Um, I have let my phone case dry overnight and it's completely dry and I've got all the edges and everything done so now I want to varnish it it's the next morning it's dried about 24 hours and I'm going to take a baby wipe and just wipe it down make sure there's no wet paint that I think is dry and it may still be wet if that was the case, I would leave it to dry uh, longer. But it was pretty thin coats that I put on here, so I was pretty sure it was dry. It was probably dry yesterday, but I let it dry overnight. So I am using Liquitex Gloss Varnish. Um, you can use satin. I want this shiny, and I'll probably put two coats, maybe three. We'll see what two looks like. You could use a thin layer of resin, which I contemplated on, and I ended up going with the 
the gloss varnish. Um, a lot of people use sponges or um, brushes to apply their varnish. I actually use cloths. And what I do is I take our old t-shirts that have been washed a million times and instead of throwing them out, I um, cut them up in strips and put them in a baggie. And I've got a dish that is just for my varnish here that has a sealed lid. And what I do is I varnish Put the rag in the varnish, seal it while this dries for three hours, and open it up and finish the process. Now, I don't push hard, I want a good, even coat. You want to varnish every piece part where you put paint, all the edges. And typically I go in a circle. You can go in one way. A lot of people do it one way and then... So I squeeze out the excess. You don't want a really thick coat. And you've got about four minutes to work with this before it gets tacky. Again, the hardest part of this is holding the case. And put another coat on just the same. See, it's already getting tacky. So if it gets tacky, stop. Don't try to make it go. I'm going to put it on this cup. And I'm going to let it dry for three hours. Be sure and wear gloves. Um, and we'll let it dry. And I'll be back in three hours. See, I need to leave that alone. And put another coat on it. So that was not four minutes. So you need to work fast. You don't know how much time you have. So what I do is I take my leftover, which I'm going to have to add more, but my rag, and I put the lid on this, and three hours it'll still be wet, and I can add a little more, dang, um, I didn't eat, eat my Wheaties today, there, um, but you cannot leave leftover varnish in here and you cannot reuse this rag after I finish today's varnishing. I throw the rag away, I, throw, I wash out this dish for the next use and throw out any leftover resin, not resin, leftover varnish away. Don't pour it back in the bottle. It's, that's why I don't put that much in there. I can always add, but I can't um, put it back in the bottle. So some people dilute it. I have diluted in the past. It's okay, but um, for this, I didn't want to dilute for sure. The bottle says not to dilute, but I have done that. Um, so next time when I varnish, I did it pretty much this way. I'll do this way, um, like a cross hatching. And it, I don't know, the cloth to me, it just comes out smoother with no brush marks. And you just see the painterly marks of the artwork itself. So it should come out pretty shiny and glossy. We'll see. So we'll continue this in three hours. Good morning. This is Sandra again. Um, it's the next morning. I have finished varnishing it. It is dry. I'm going to let it... Uh, cure for probably two or three days uh, just to make sure everything's um, good and dry. Um, it turned out great. Um, it's smooth and if I hold it a certain way you can see the shininess from the light. I put a gloss on it. 
You can do a satin varnish on it. I just like the shiny, uh, but I'm very happy the way it turned out. I've put it on my phone and checked it out, and it works perfect. I just don't want to, I told my husband, I said, it'll be my luck. I'll mess it up trying it on my phone. I was a little concerned it may be um, thicker to where it didn't fit as well, but it actually fits perfect. Uh, so I couldn't be happier. Got a unique phone case. It was fun to do, and it's something you can give a try if you would like. Leave a note in the comments and let me know what you think, and if you try it, let me know. I'd be happy to hear how your project went. I just bought a silicone case on Amazon, and they're not that expensive, so I figured if it didn't work, I wasn't losing that much. But, um, yeah, so I'm real happy with it. Um, so I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. And um, please be sure and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that bell notification button so you know when my next video is um, up. Have a great day. Today's Friday here. And uh, have a good weekend. And hopefully... I think next week we're going to have a little bit of cooler temperatures. Bye for now.